Hey folks, Luxinda Swirl here. We are going to do a relatively quick pour, I think, on a tray. We have our tray here. Bought this on Amazon. There's a whole set of them. I will link to that below along with the resources for everything else. Um, so I'm going to mix up some paints into a cup. We're going to do a cup pour and then we're going to do it through a drainer strainer. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that. Whoop, there we go. That's what it looks like. It's just something you plop down in your bathroom drain. We're going to see if it makes some interesting patterns. And then I'll tilt and we'll get the paint dispersed throughout the tray. So here's what I'm going to be mixing up today. We are using Arteza paints for the most part. This is gold. This is pearl glacier blue. This is light sap green, so there's that sap green again. And this is neon pink, and for the white, I'm going to use Artist Loft Titanium White. We don't need very much. According to the paint calculator at Smart Arts, we only need about three and a half ounces to cover this, because it's not going to be dripping over the sides like a canvas. It's just going to be sitting right here in the tray. I will probably end up mixing more than that into my cups. Uh, and we'll just see where we get. Uh, so I'm going to mix the paints with my Liquitex pouring medium that I've transferred to my creamer, cleaned out creamer container. And I'm also going to add a squirt in each one of Minwax Polycrylic that I've transferred to a clean squeeze bottle. I'm probably going to fast forward through this. Basically it's going to be two parts, flow, uh, two parts Liquitex to one part paint and then a squirt of the polycrylic. Whoa, that is neon. Look at that. Cool. So the gold and the blues are metallics. The other colors are not metallics. All right, this is the cup I'll be layering in. It's entirely possible that the strainer holes are going to mix all of this together and we'll just get a tray full of mud. If that's the case, then you know, we'll know for next time and I can just paint over it with something else. So I'm not too worried about this. All right, here we go. Let's layer some paint. Here we go. Almost forgot my strainer.
Well, that looks pretty. Get rid of them. Tempted to let it sit. Can't say I dislike that at all. Let's get a little more to the corner here. I think that's beautiful. I'm losing my flower in the middle. Let's see if we can get it back a little better. There we go. That is really pretty. I'm not a huge fan of pink, but actually I think the pink is not awful in this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring you back tomorrow and we'll see what it looks like after it's sat overnight. See you in a bit, folks. Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you what happened to our tray overnight. Uh, apparently the paints kept moving and I now see absolutely no resemblance to what it was when we last left it after pouring. In fact, I think it looks sort of like a brown, celery green, and hot pink mess with a blob of white in the middle. <laughs> Instead of being bummed about how it turned out, I am taking this as a tray that is now completely primed and ready for resining which will be an upcoming project and we'll use this tray. So there you go. Paint keeps moving, doesn't always work out the way you want, and my color choices were just not the best they could have been. <laughs> so we'll come back to this tray and we'll put some resin on it and it'll turn out beautiful, but that's a project for another day. Thanks everyone, see you in the next video.